Valley Girl. Nicholas Cage. A cool one. This is an X Renko. Nice. Car Caraway Furniture, North Carolina. Ghostbusters. That's a good one right there. An X Renko. Very cool. 119 South Main Street, Marion, North Carolina. It was sold for 1025 at one time. It's a pizza box. A lot of people use sellers who use pizza boxes for CDs. I used to own a pizza shop, and people used to come in asking for boxes, pizza boxes, probably for this very thing. I already had this one, but it's a rent, an X rental with a very cool X rental label. So I had to pick it up. The price was right. It's a beauty. So there you have the pizza box, as you can see. It's a plain pizza box. So here's Halloween 2 with that very cool rental sticker. Um, TV sales and service. Rent. Wrench, 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 R E I N S C H. TV sales and service. 
It's dated 11 21 1983. Right there. It was a uh, stock number, inventory number, stock number, whatever you want to call it. 873. And it was 1003 East McCarty uh, in Jefferson City, MO. Very cool. Very cool. I can imagine how many times this one was rented out, as you can see by the condition. It was probably rented out quite a few times. So, I don't know if I showed that label on Ghostbuster. But there you have that rental label. Which makes it very cool, in my opinion. Adds a story. This one actually has another label underneath. Won't be able to see what it says though. I think it's probably the same place. Yeah, there is another label under there. It appears like a label from the same rental place or what have you. They updated the price or something. But very cool. So Ghostbusters Halloween 2, Valley Girl. The Valley Girl doesn't have any rental labels on it, but it's rare. Not rare, but it's hard to come by. So I didn't have it, and I picked it up for a good price. I mean, right, generally you can get some good prices on CDs. There's a few rare ones. Like I said, Back to the Future... And maybe some other horror ones. And, well, I forget which ones are real up there. So most of them are cheap. Yeah. Here's one. Here's one that's pretty rare and uh, doesn't come cheap. But um, I got this one. I don't know the movie. But what I thought was cool about this one is the rental sticker. Very cool rental sticker on this one. Jim's TV and Video. 322 Belvedere Drive, Route 120, Gray Lake, Illinois. Jim's TV and video. I like that one a lot. It's nice and clear. Good condition. Mutant. Kind of like one of those low budget horror movies, but actually checked out the trailer and looked pretty good. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Inventory. It must have been in the A section. So those are all the individual ones. So we had four individual ones. Oh yeah, I'm gonna change that. I'll be able to change that out. Very cool. Very, very cool. Okay, now we get to the multiple one. I think there's three in each of these. So I'm going to give this a pause. All right, I'm back. So I kind of pre-opened this one. To save some video time. 
should be three, I believe, in here. Yeah. I think all three of them are X rentals. Might be all from the same place, though. From the same rental store. Or store, period, whatever. Okay. This one I don't have. It's got a nice label on there. Very good condition on this one. A time machine. It's an older flip. So let me get these out and then I'll go over. I already had this one, but I got it for that rental sticker. And then this one I didn't have. This is from a different rental store. Those other two are the same. All right, now this one here, it's from a showbiz video. Fort Collins. Fort Collins. It, it has, um, the only thing it has on this one is a phone number, and it says Fort Collins, so I'm not sure where Fort Collins is. Sounds like a, would be in Texas, but who knows. But I didn't have this movie. This one would be an American werewolf from London, is it? An American werewolf in London. And there's that label. Very cool. Thought that was pretty cool. That's an actual rental place. I mean, showbiz video. It's pretty cool. And then we have Westworld. Sci-fi movie. Also with that rental sticker. Um, different place, though. The video shop. Colorado Springs, Colorado. And this is from the same rental place as you can see there if you can read it this one's in really good condition though so this one probably wasn't rented out too much compared to westworld from the same place you can see westworld was uh more popular i mean the labels even a little the artwork itself so not at not quite as good condition as um, as time machine, it's not bad though. It's got a couple mix here and there. Where this one's just a Mac. I imagine this one wasn't rented out much. Looks fairly like very good condition. Being an older movie, probably get less interest. The time machine. It's a good one though. I got one more. I got a few more coming in. Then I'll do a final video on my whole collection. Because I'm pretty much pretty much where I want to be on these. I got a certain amount of space down in my storage area that I'm going to max out. And then that's it. We got three more here. Don't even remember what they are. Got plenty of packing material though. Okay, so what do we got here? I think these are from three different places. I mean, I got these all from one seller. But I think they're all three from a different location. So this, this is a furniture place. Can't really make, I can't pronounce it, but it's Warsaw, New York. Doesn't have a 
a full address like the other one it looks like can't make out that first letter I mean it's big and everything it's just cursive if anybody can make that out let me know property of see I, I imagine these furniture places that sold the CD players they kept like an inventory to rent out because they were probably so expensive that then that's how they would sell someone a player and then have a inventory of CDs to rent out to people who didn't want to buy them at the expensive price. So here's a, here's a Clint Eastwood one. This one was from Property of Gary's TV Rentals. 425 Main Street, Warsaw, New York. So I guess that is from the same place. But it, I'm not, not necessarily same, same city, same town. But this is from 425 Main Street. This one says TV Clinic. So Gary's TV Rentals. Where that one, it's a different place, but same town. So I imagine this person went around and bought out when they were going out. This one, condition-wise, it's not in... I mean, it's not bad condition, but the, the rental place put a sticker over that to the back. Like some kind of uh, masking tape type thing and numbered it number one. Probably was number one in the inventory, I want to say. So there you go. It's a one-disc movie, I know that. Okay, and then we have, oh, did I show the label on that one? There's that rental label. Then this one's from a video shack. This one um, is a, um, what do you call it? John Wayne, Sands of Awajima. And this place here, video shack, property of video shack. Castle, New York. So a different town. 5893 School Road. This one is 179A, Sands of Ujima. They wrote it. Not only did they put the label on here, but they also wrote Dave's Radio TV, which is the other place. So, Dave's Radio must have bought an inventory off this place, Video Share. And on the back, they put it on the back as well. That's pretty cool. As you can see, their address. Which is a different address than the other one. So, there must have been... Oh, which one was Dave's? Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure here. This is Dave's Radio TV. Oh, the other one was Gary. I thought I had another one that was Dave's. No? No. Okay, so. That, again, there's the address for Video Shack. The address. And it, it got updated to Dave's. I don't know if they bought out the place or bought out their inventory, but that has, that's got to have some kind of story to it. So anyway, that's what, uh, that's this unboxing. I'm going to add these to my CD collection. The rental ones, I didn't buy so much to play, but more for the history. Um, but I mean, absolutely, if they're playable. I'll play them. I mean, this, some of them look very playable. I mean, they all look playable. But I didn't really buy some of these to actually for the movie. I just thought the rental stickers were very cool on those. So that's it today. Um, 
like I said, I got a few more coming in, then I'm pretty much maxed out. Then I'm going to do a video of my whole collection. Hope you enjoyed it. Take it easy.